Just uh, how are you feeling at this point about your defense's ability, especially to play with discipline and do the things you need to do to play that triple option? We, we feel good uh, right now with the plan we've got implemented. Uh, we don't have it down uh, exactly the way we want to have it down, but it's only Tuesday. Uh, a lot of prep work still to be done. A lot of uh, basically seeing your keys over and over and getting your eyes in the right spot. And then given enough of the you know, play action pass off of it, the crack and goes, the uh, traditional formations that they do get in, they, you know, uh, they do a good job of getting out of their, you know, their, their, their base formation and going into some traditional stuff. And then you got to, you know, that's a little bit different from normal option team. So the more we work it, the better we'll be. You know, on a short week, it's tough. When I say a short week, on one week it is tough uh, to get ready for an option team. But uh, you know we've got some seniors on that team that need to take responsibility and be disciplined this week. Have you seen a positive? Because like you said, you worked on a little bit in spring ball. You worked on a little bit in fall camp. Have you seen some recall that's giving you some hope? Yeah, well, I think more recall for the coaches and how we're going to play it, that sort of thing. Players, uh, they kind of forget from week to week uh, of what's, what they did. Uh, a lot of times you show them film and it kind of reminds me. But I think it was more for the coaches to see what works, tinker with what works. And so you didn't spend, you know, all night Sunday, Monday, figuring out what you're going to do. We had, had the game plan in when they rolled in here Sunday to start working on Air Force. How does it feel Nick and Coleman have responded in practice? Uh, Nick's throwing the ball really well. Uh, Coleman uh, been a little shaky the first uh, Two practices, but Nick has had two really good practice, and proud of the way Nick's uh, uh, practiced uh, the first two days. Coach, can you give us a little understanding of what you have with your qu your quarterbacks as far as the starting and coming out of the game and that sort of thing? Well, we're looking for some consistent play, and uh, we haven't been real consistent at that position with either either guy. So we're trying to find some consistency, and sometimes it's a guy that can give us a spark. With the lack of consistency you've had in offense, you've, you've had spurts here and there of different yeah. things, being explosive or being able to grind out a drive. Has that hampered you in any way in your play calling because you don't have that one thing you can kind of anchor to? Uh, you know, it's hard, uh, I would say, for any, any, any play caller if you're not getting explosive plays. Uh, and an explosive play does not have to be a pass, uh, the scheme up. It could be fitting up on the right guys on a run against the right look. It could be a, a guy reading force and having a good block uh, like Rashard did against Utah State and Dawkins spit it out for a 25 yard run. It's doing the little things for that get you explosive plays and uh, when you don't have those it's hard uh, you know to just for any offense not necessarily a play caller to, to keep c converting mm -hmm. you know especially unless you're an option team or you got a running quarterback it, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Do you feel like sometimes you're still trying to find what the, this team's good at offensively? Yeah, no question. I, I'd say we're, we we really you know we're kind of a mixed bag right now uh, of what we can do, uh, what we do well. So we're kind of grasping a little bit at straws. And you know, I said it last week, and we honed down a little bit, and we're honing down a little more this week, uh, and feel good about the plan right now. But ultimately, we got to go out and execute it on Saturday.